all right so in this video of salesforce bytes we'll talk about how can you hide or show a field based on another field on a page layout right so very recently salesforce has come up with a concept that's called dynamic forms and until then until before which there was no way to you know show fields dynamically using a page layout because page layout did not give you that capabilities right you'd have to write a custom component for it but today we'll be looking at something that's called dynamic forms and that allows you to show or hide fields based on another field on your record page okay so let's go to an object that i have here that's called scenario tracker this is spelled a bit wrong but that's okay let's open any record that i have this is a custom object and there's one limitation with the dynamic forms they only work with custom objects as of now salesforce provides dynamic forms only for custom objects you cannot use them for standard objects okay so what i have here is i have a field that's called check value i have an account field and i have a name field right what i want to do is i want to show this check value based on the account field or the name field i mean i want to do any kind of some sort of hide and show work on the field okay so i want to make this check value field dynamic on the page lay page layout okay how do i do that i have to enable dynamic forms so to do that i can go to setup and i can click on edit page now this edit page will open up my lightning record page for this object we have discussed record pages in separate videos so you can check that out and once you have the record page opened what we'll have to do is we'll have to upgrade our page record page to dynamic forms okay so that dynamic forms can be enabled so this is how the scenario tracker record page currently looks like i let this load and once this is loaded when i click on the detail section on the right hand side i should see the page record detail section opening up and here i have an option to upgrade my page this says you can configure record detail sections and fields inside the app builder upgrade to dy dynamic forms and start putting individual fields and sections anywhere on the page so instead of having a page layout associated you can actually put individual fields on your page as components okay so we'll just click on the upgrade now button and what this will do is it will start up the dynamic form setup page so it's saying that it will be a more flexible page customization you can put fields you can create sections and you can show or hide sections based on rules so you can do all of this without even going to the page layout okay i'll click on next and here it asks whether you want to migrate your fields and sections that you have currently into an accordion component i'll just leave it checked for now and what layout that do you want to check so we have just one layout i'll just choose this one and i'll click on finish so this is the layout which will get the upgraded version and will will have the dynamic form feature available so once that is enabled you see how the details page has changed and my page layout has modified into single field components which can be moved from here only you don't have even have to go to the page layout right and i have a collapsible section that's called fields here and what i can do is i can just change it i can call it general information so i can rename it also okay i'm not able to rename it let me see if i can okay i think there are just two options available either you can have fields or you can have additional fields okay and if you notice the field section has all the fields and additional field section has the system information right now this has been taken up from the page layout but if i want to create more sections or i want to get rid of some sections i can click on this add section button similar to how you do it on a page layout you can do it here also so if i click on add section i will be able to add another section that would be another accordion okay now the real deal we want to show fields dynamically right so let's do something let's move a field here and as soon as you notice i have the field scenario tracker name and i have a ui behavior option it's none read only required right and i can add a set field level i can do a field level visibility so this can be done on the field level so what we want to do is we want to hide or show the check value field right let me move scenario tracker here and let me move check value here and when i click on the check value field i have a set field visibility option what i'll do is i'll say add filter and here i have two options either i can use the record field which means i can do checks on the fields that are available on, on my object so i can say that the name contains or you know something like that that the it could be like you know name there's a problem loading the fields for the component visibility filter close the modal and try again okay let's just close the modal and try it again i'll say add filter i'll get rid of the check value i'll say name and here i can use contains and i'll just say sc i can do any kind of checks right or else i could just say if the check value is greater than 
150 only then show the field okay i'll just say done so that's my condition that's my filter criteria once i'm good with my filter criteria i can click on save and mind you you can also add multiple filters and you can also do a filter logic just just like you do with list view filters just like how you do with you know uh, custom filters or any kind of filters that you create in salesforce similar concept is now available here so i can also do something like scenario tracker name contains sc okay now i can just say both all filters are true only then show this field and you see this eye icon is coming up here that looks like an eye this is nothing but you have put a visibility that's why it's showing up like this okay once i'm good with my filter logic and i'm good with the placement of the fields i can go ahead and save my page right so once i click on save i'll just click on activate this is probably the first time we are acting the activating the page so i'll just activate the page and i'll make it available for everyone okay i'll just assign it as or default i'll say desktop i'll say next and i'll click on save okay so my page is saved and activated now let's go back and see how the page looks like and do i see the field now so i am on the st01 record so this is called st01 right so i said that the account the check value should be greater than 150 which was true because the value was 200 but the name does not contain sc it contains st which is why the field is not coming up here let's try to do something let me just change the name and just say save you see how it's dynamically showing up the check value as soon as the field comes up that's amazing right you don't even have to re-render re your page and if i just say sn it goes away so that's how you are able to now dynamically show fields without any refresh or re-rendering on the page layout for the user right and this comes in handy because every time you'll have to check value should always be less than 100 that's another validation rule that i've written i can just move this to 50 and when i do that this will be hidden okay all right that's okay but the gist of this particular video is that you know we have had a lot of troubles when we want to show fields dynamically the only possible way we can do that is using dependent pick list for a certain certain use case scenarios but for fields like these we'll have to use something that's called dynamic forms and now you'll be able to use page layouts and with combination of dynamic forms you'll be able to show or hide fields you don't have to you know write anything custom you'll, you'll not have to create a custom record page also okay all right thank you